3-4, we're going to graph the linear equation in standard form using the intercepts. So number six, you're going to sketch the graph of each line using the x and y intercepts. So let's make sure you understand some things, right? So for the x-intercept, okay, this is when y is equal to zero. You want to make sure you remember that. And then for the y-intercept, okay, this is uh, when the x is equal to zero. Make sure you remember that, okay? That is going to be guiding uh, what we do here for our problems, okay? So I'm going to keep it down here, hopefully. All right, we can still see it. Perfect. All right, so let's find the x-intercept, okay? So here's the equation, all right? Do you see that equation? Now I'm going to put zero in for the um, y. So I'm going to put a zero here. This is a zero. So now it's just 7x equals to 5. And we divide by 7. So um, x is equal to 5 over 7. Okay. This is like, I don't think, as a fraction that is about what number? 5 divided by 7 is like 0 0.7. Okay. So this is like the number 0 0.7. Okay. Next, let's grab the same equation. Oops. But this time we're going to make the um, this zero, okay? All right. So y is going to be equal to five. So there you go, okay? So this is right here, okay? Where it is like five over seven comma zero, and then this is where it is going to be zero for the x, five for the y, and now we can just connect those two lines, right? the best that we can and there you go that is how we graph that line okay let's do the other one okay all right here's the first one okay and this one let's make the y zero first it's 3x is equal to negative 5. We divide by 3 to both sides. x is equal to negative 5 over 3. And negative 5 over 3 is about negative 1.6, okay? Here's the equation again. Uh, let's see, do I have room? I don't have room. I'm going to bring it to the bottom, okay? All right, and this time I'm going to put a 0 here for the x leaving you with just a 5y minus 5. So divide by 5 to both sides, you get y is, sorry, divide by 5 to both sides, yeah. You get y is equal to negative 1. So let's look. So the first one here is going to be um, right here. This is negative 5 over 3 comma 0. And then this is going to be, zero comma negative one and now we just have to connect it okay the best that we can All right there you go okay that would be what the equation would look like All right so all we have to do is put one as zero and then solve oh uh, c y is just equal to four well that's right here, okay? And that is just a vertical, uh, a horizontal line from before, okay? So this one, we couldn't say, if you wanna know, the x-intercept, no, the y-intercept is going to be at zero comma four, and there it, for the x-intercept, there you would write, there is none, okay? Because there's no x value here. All right, that's why there's no x-intercept. All right, let's take a look and at this one. We're gonna put the y equals to zero, so it's six x equals to 20, divide by six to both sides. X is equal to 20 over six, which can be simplified to 10 over three. And if you put that in a calculator, that is about 3.33, okay? So that one is right here. That is where it is 10 over 3 comma 0. 
here's the equation again and this time we're gonna put the x equals to 0 leaving you with a 5y equals to 20 divide by 5 to both sides you get y equals to 4 so here it is y equals to 4 so that is 0 comma 4 here so now we have to do is connect the line there you go okay and there you go that is how you graph using the x and y intercept please remember to find the x intercept that is when y equals to zero and to get the y intercept that is when x is equal to zero